Hello everyone. Today I will talk about five things I would have done differently if I had to restart my data science career. Reflection is a powerful tool for growth. If I look back on my own journey, here are the five things I would have done differently. Number one, master the fundamentals before you jump in the advanced topics. Early in my career, I actually rushed to learn cutting edge technology like deep learning without solidifying the basics, right? So I think learning is sequential in machine learning. You have to pick up all the fundamentals, math, statistics, probability, build your base, and then you can learn the ML algorithms and you can start building models. And then you slowly move up to the deep learning, natural language processing, transformers, and the LLM or the Gen AI. I've seen many people trying to hop to the next level without doing much foundational knowledge building. So that will definitely hamper you on a long run. Number two, focus on business impact, not only on the models. So initially, I was obsessed to build most accurate models. Actually, I was blindsided on the business goals. If I could restart, I'd probably spend more time on how do we define problem? How does this problem is attached to the business? What are the su success metrics? How do I iteratively communicate with the stakeholders so I'm in the right track? So these things actually matters on any data science projects. Remember data science projects, most of them come with a lot of ambiguity and you have to have that clear conversation or problem statement from the beginning. The number three is develop software engineering skills. I cannot stress enough on this point because Writing production ready code, version controls, CI CD pipeline, understanding the data pipelines, those are extremely important even for data scientists. If I had embraced all this from the beginning of my journey, I would have become more versatile during the job search because you can also apply for multiple roles like ML engineering, data engineering, applied science. So you are able to open those different avenues for yourself. So that is very important. And even in the work, right? So just writing the code on the notebook is not going to cut it anymore. So you have to have a little bit more than that. How do you deploy it? How do you monitor your model? How do you set up the feedback loop? All these ML ops things, they, they will be part of your job. So I think I will put a little bit time learning all that. Number four is, this is mostly for the early career folks or the new grads. You have to build your project portfolio with real world projects. So only doing the certification or the training or the learning is, is not enough because it's not gonna showcase anything that you are capable of. When you write all the technical skills on your resume, how do you validate or vouch for your own skills that you have added on a resume? The only way to do it is to showcase with a portfolio. A good portfolio is very important when you are in the new grad or early career position. Because you are competing with experienced folks, data science jobs are highly competitive. I suggest to pick up the projects that are actually uh, gonna get attention from the hiring managers or the recruiters. Because if you put the projects like wine testing, iris flowers, or any simple projects from the Kaggle, I mean, it is good when you initially start to get your hands-on understanding of how to establish a workflow in the data science, but putting those kind of projects on the portfolio is, is not going to be valuable. I will be sharing a lot of contents on what kind of data sources to use, or what type of projects will be valuable, and I've already shared so many contents on the LinkedIn. Please make sure that your projects are closely aligned or tied with the real world use cases. And the last point is networking and seeking mentors. Sooner the better. Early in my career, I underestimated the power of this. Communication, connection, you know, these are all very much highly valuable soft skills you're going to carry with you in your career forward. So when you approach the people for mentoring, networking, they're going to provide you additional insights, sometimes can help you with the job referrals and many things. So even if nothing with a job, you will learn about how their career has been and how they have shaped their career differently, what were their struggles, what were the challenges, right? So it's extremely important to network with the people. I actually value a lot for mentoring and networking. So please spend some time building your own connection and network. So yeah, those are the five things that I would have done differently if I had to reset my data science career. 
I hope this video is helpful for you to guide in the right career path. And I will be making short videos like this, usually five to 10 minutes videos to talk about my own experience, journey in data science. And please like and subscribe to the video and more will be coming in your way. Thank you.